What's up guys? My name is Blake and today we're talking about stabilizing your footage. Let's go. So before we get into today's video, we're talking about LumaFusion. If you've never heard of it before, it's an editing software, video editing software for your iPad. I've used a lot of different video editing software over the years, and considering that this is on your iPad, probably the best video editor that you can get for iPad right now. There's so many different things you can do in it, and they just released an update, LumaFusion 3.0, and one of the big features in that update is the ability to stabilize your footage. So if you ever used like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, being able to stabilize shaky footage in post-production is a really, really big key feature that a lot of people, a lot of pros use all the time. So whether you're doing a lot of handheld shots, you don't have a gimbal, you're trying to stay as steady as you possibly can, but you still see some wobble and shake, maybe you have lenses or a camera that doesn't have in-body stabilization, so this feature is going to help you out loads. So what we're going to do today, I shot a couple shots that are all handheld. So um, they're gonna have some shake to it. A shot like a walking shot or like to simulate like a vlog and then a couple other shots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop them on the iPad. We're gonna see how shaky they are. We're gonna use the stabilizer that's inside of LumaFusion and then we're going to see how they turn out. So let's get into it. All right guys, so I got the clips that I need on the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and open up LumaFusion, get these clips into the timeline and we're gonna take a peek at them, see how shaky they are. And then we're gonna apply the stabilizer and see what this thing is capable of today. So let's go ahead. Um, I gotta do this quick too. My, my iPad's got about 7%. <laughs> so we got all three videos on the timeline here. When I watched the video, LumaFusion saying that this is the same type of plugin for a stabilization that's on Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut Pro is you know used by a lot of, a lot of people. Um, it's an Apple program. Um, tons of people use Final Cut and love it. And it's one of those, again, stabilization is one of those key features in these, in these uh, video editing software so so now we got all three clips in here I got them all trimmed down to where I would like them to be stabilized from so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna choose the first clip this little clip of the camera going through the weeds here kind of cool little shot but you can see if I play it back it's pretty shaky you can see all my footsteps all right so now what we're gonna go do or what we're gonna do is at the bottom of the screen here you can see all these little icons so the icon in the middle that looks like the screen kind of wobbling we're going to go ahead we're going to click that for stabilize and the only thing you have to do now is just the word it says lock and load stabilization by core melt you just flip that switch and now it's already analyzing the footage and going to stabilize it for you and it's an electronic stabilization so what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to analyze the footage and find the common points basically so it's going to punch in a little bit and it's going to try to stabilize find out what, what the subject is and try to stabilize based on the motion that's already in the frame all right inside of the stabilizer setting in here um, we have some of these little presets so you have light medium and strong and then you have light medium and strong shutter and i'm not positive what the shutter I'm, I'm assuming it like tries to adjust what the shutter speed or like simulate what the shutter speed is um, depending on how much shake and stuff is in the footage so let's go ahead and let's try this strong and shutter and see what that does to it. All right, let's, let's move it out. And then also you have all these different settings down here. You have advanced strength, uh, advanced scale, where you can choose the scale. As you, you can tweak all this stuff to your liking so you don't have to just click the auto feature and see how it is. This might not have been the best clip to test it with, so that's why I did a couple of different clips, but here's the before and after. Hmm. Yeah, so interesting. So there's a clip side by side. Let's go. Let's move on to the next clip. This little talking head clip here. We're going to go on ahead and do the same thing. We're going to come in, go to the stabilize feature. Let's watch the clip before. They made for vlogging, but just trying to test it out for the stabilization. It's a little bit shaky, but let's see what the before and after looks like. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's check the stabilization box. It's going to track the footage. And let's see how it comes out. Like I said, this lens was already punched in a little bit and this is gonna punch in more to stabilize the footage. So it's gonna be real tight to my face, so just so you know. So I did a couple of tweaks here. Uh, the overall strength, I bumped all the way up. 
and then this automatic shutter correction, I checked that box as well. So let's go ahead and check these clips out side by side and see what the difference is. Not really made for vlogging, but just trying to test it out for the stabilization. It's a little bit shaky, but let's see what the before and after looks like. So the interesting thing about this that I've seen so far is that this stabilizer, in some ways it almost looks, makes it look more shaky, which is kind of a funny thing. So, so far I'm not showing signs that are too promising. Yeah, so like I said, so far it almost appears to make the footage look more shaky. I mean, I know it punches in and so, it, so instead of it punching in and it kind of smoothing out all those bumps and jitters, it seems like it's punching in and it's amplifying all those motion, all that movement, all those motions. So I'm assuming that this plugin is gonna get better and better over time, that they're gonna update it and all that stuff. Let's, let's go ahead, let's edit the last clip and see if that makes a difference, see if it makes it any better. And then we can get our final thoughts on it after the fact. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We'll watch, this, watch it first. And the footage is... And this, this shot right here, I tried to get as steady as I could. So let's go ahead, go to the stabilizer. Stabilize it, it says it's tracking dominant motion. Let's see what it does with this clip. All right, so not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead, let's bump the strength up all the way just, just to see what it looks like. So here's the clip side by side. All right, so I think that shot looks a little bit better. It's interesting to see how it's analyzing the footage because it almost would be better if it would let you select a subject is what it seems. So kind of like on the Insta360 app, how you can select subject and then it stabilizes your footage around that subject. It'd be nice if we could select a subject in here and then stabilize the footage around that. So basically what it seems like it's doing is it's trying to analyze the footage and see what the dominant motion is and then trying to smooth out that. The problem is the subject that you're shooting isn't always going to be in frame. And you can see in some of these clips that sometimes sometimes the, the subject or like that, that clip with the swing, I was kind of focusing on that corner of the swing where the chain link was and so that chain link kind of is out of, out of frame a little bit and comes back in a little bit. Yeah, it seems like it'd be better if they had like select the subject type of feature and then track the motion around that because I think it might be a little bit more steady if they if they let you do that. And even like with this face shot, this like this vlogging shot, yeah, it punches in a little bit, but man, oh man, it almost seems like the stabilized footage is more shaky. Like it just, it just amplified all that shake. So. Let's go ahead and let's check out these clips one more time, side by side, all three, and then I'll give my final thoughts. Not really made for vlogging, but just trying to test it out for the stabilization. It's a little bit shaky, but let's see what the before and after looks like. All right guys, some final thoughts for you. So it is very cool that LumaFusion came up with a way to try to give more features to the people who have bought this app. And this isn't like a subscription type of app. This is like you buy it once and you have it forever, which is really cool. So for them to add features like this over time is a really big deal, very cool. And stabilization in post-production is like a pro feature, which is very cool. But I don't know how strong their claim was about this being the same stabilization that's in Final Cut Pro, but I don't, Maybe it's just because this is, is different on this app or something, it has different on the iPad, I don't know. But there's still a lot of work to be done. It's cool and it can work in some clips. I definitely would not ever rely on that stabilization to fix a clip. I would always try to either, if you can, use a gimbal if you have one. If not, do everything you, you possibly can to shoot as steady as you possibly can. And whatever you're shooting, whether it's a moving shot, just make sure you're doing everything you can to make sure that your footage in camera is going to be as stable as possible and then maybe this will help you out a little bit like i said it depends on the shot you guys saw all those three clips that some of them worked and some of them really didn't work um really two of them didn't work and then the one worked okay so i think it probably just depends on the shot and like i said this probably has a lot more development to go they're probably going to update it and all that stuff and make it better over time which is a great thing so cool feature 
just doesn't work that as good as I hoped it would. All right, so what did you guys think of the footage before and after? Did you like the footage before or after? Which clips? Make sure you leave a comment down below and I will respond to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for a video, please post those below as well. I'll have a link to LumaFusion down below if you wanna get this software for your iPad. Like I said, this stabilization is a new feature. It's nothing against LumaFusion at all. Um, LumaFusion is a great app and I use it for, like I said, I'll use it for all my videos, so. Yeah, that's about it. If you guys like this content, you like this video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.